What's up, YouTube? What's up? Welcome to Coffee with Jada. Or welcome back. So I have a special guest today, um, friend in my heart, um, that will be um, chatting with me, having some girl chat. But first, I'm going to play her a video. I think I may have locked. Is your phone locked? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Unlock it. So first, I'm going to play her a video. She has not seen the video. So I'm going to play it real quick. On seven, a clue to a crime that could help a widow and police track down the men who killed her husband. Hello and welcome, everybody. He was at his vacation home in Lauder Hill. His company opened the door to killers, and police believe this group has struck before. Let's go to Raj Lowe. He's live at the Lauder Hill Police Department with the words of warning in our top story. Raj? Okay, first off, let me tell you what Lauder Hill Police do have this evening. They have incredible surveillance video. You will see all of the people in that video, three women, two men, who police believe not only robbed but murdered a father of two who was vacationing here in South Florida. He had a family, and the fact that he had to die alone is something that I'll have to deal with for the rest of my life. Nakia speaks to us from her home in Virginia. On February 11th, her 44-year-old husband, Emeril, a successful businessman, was murdered in Lauder Hill. We would have celebrated our 17th anniversary on March 15th. So we've been married for 16 years. Cops say Sr., who was driving a Bentley, met three women in downtown Fort Lauderdale. This is just released video of the victim holding hands with one of the women, walking at around 3.30 in the morning. At around 6.19, you can see three women walk into the elevator with the victim. Cops say they are headed to his apartment. At 7.28 in the morning, this woman, dressed in red, comes to the lobby. Cops say she leaves the door open for these men, who you see after the murder, running away with the group of women. It's very important for the public to pay attention to this because from what we can gather from video surveillance is that we believe that our victim may have been targeted or maybe just a crime of opportunity. But we do believe that the primary focus was a robbery. Cops believe this group has targeted other men, and now they are wanted for robbery and murder. Look at this woman smiling after the victim is shot. Cops say this cold-hearted group needs to be brought to justice. There's this emptiness that someone would actually take away my husband, the father of my children, just for a senseless act of, of greed. Emerald leaves behind a 16-year-old and a 10-year-old. Now, what is rare about this case is that police have so much... Co 